Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Black Ops outfit in GTA Online. This is essentially a heavy version of the other Black Ops outfit that I did a few months ago. So the requirements to make this outfit are that your main male character has to be in the first character slot. You must also have the infiltration suits from your Diamond Casino Heist unlocked on your male character. Lastly, you'll need to have access to a penthouse whether it's yours, a friend's or someone from the Militated Discords. Okay, so the first thing to note about this glitch is that it will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please make sure that you're wearing your favourite outfit. Starting on the mail, we're going to press the start button, go to online and go down to swap character. As expected, this is then going to load up the character selection screen. So just to reiterate, in order for you to do this glitch, your main mail character has to be in the first character slot. If it is in the second one, then this will not work for you. We're now going to go over to the second slot and we're going to create a new character. You can use an existing female character if you already have one. Just keep in mind that we are going to be deleting this character later on. I recommend copying your main character's rank over to this one so that you don't have any issues buying anything and no, it will not affect your main character's rank. Simply just make sure that the character is a female and then go down to save and continue. You'll then need to enter a name and take a photograph. After that you'll then be brought down into a GTA Online session after a cutscene. As a side note, if you disconnect from GTA Online at any point after creating the female character, all the way up until the point where we're back on the male character later on, then you will need to restart the glitch entirely. This is because disconnecting stops the transfer glitch from working, so please keep that in mind. Okay, so now that we're on the female character, the first thing that you want to do is press start to check and see if the clothing stores have spawned in on the map. If they haven't, then just go and find a new session. At this point, we're going to need to go into the casino and access a penthouse. Again, this can be yours, friends, or you can find someone that owns one in the Militated Discord server. The invite link is in the description. If for some reason you can't seem to find anyone with a penthouse, then you can do the other Black Ops outfit that I did a few months ago. That video is also linked down in the description. There is one specific thing that needs to be in the penthouse, so I'm just going to quickly set one up to show you. In order to do that, I'm going to bring up the phone and go to the Diamond Casino and Resort website. We're then going to go up to the top right to where it says the penthouses and we're going to purchase the cheapest option. You need to make sure that you have the lounge area to unlock the rest of the options. With the rest of the options now unlocked, you need to make sure that the penthouse has the bar and party hub. So again, if you're not using your penthouse, then make sure that the owner has the bar and party hub. This unlocks the arcade machines. With that done, we don't need to select anything else, so I'm now just going to go and press buy now. With that done, I'm now going to close the phone and head over to the elevator inside the casino, which is the entrance to the penthouse. So once you're in the penthouse, you're then going to have to run through to the other side until you get to the bar, which has this arcade machine. Now usually this game would be pretty hard to complete, but thankfully Rockstar have included a cheat code which is on screen now. Okay, so all we need to do is enter that cheat code really quickly on the main menu, which comes up after this run advertisement. Again, you need to enter the code relatively quickly, and if you've done it correctly, you'll then hear this noise. So that indicates that the cheat code is now active and it gives you 99 lives per level which is more than enough to get through them. For reference I believe the standard number of lives is 3 so you'll be fine. So we're now going to basically play through the game to unlock a specific t-shirt which we need for the transfer glitch for the male. Just work your way through the missions and try to kill as many animals as you can. You'll eventually get to the moon mission which I believe is infinite and has many animals for you to kill. That isn't something I ever thought I'd say. Anyway, our goal is to kill 100 animals which will then unlock the t-shirt. Once you've killed 100, you'll then see a message in the top left of the screen indicating that you have completed the challenge. If I remember correctly, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do and it's actually quite fun. We're now going to hold the back button to exit the game, which for me is circle as I'm using a PS4 controller. At this point we're now going to leave the penthouse and casino and we're going to head down to a clothing store to browse the accessory section. From here we're going to go into the earrings category and we're going to purchase the B&W Deco earrings. Please do not forget these as they are absolutely essential. If you don't buy these then the pouches from the infiltration suit will not transfer on the male character later on. In the gloves category we're going to purchase the light wooden tactical and then we're going to back out of accessories. We're now going to head over to the pants section to start browsing the jeans category. From here we're going to purchase the navy low crotch. Now please make sure it's these ones and not the navy faded low crotch as they are completely different. So just make sure that you pick the regular ones like I did here. Now that we've done that, we're going to back out of pants and head over to tops. If you're new to this glitch and feeling a bit confused, then just buy exactly what I'm buying and you'll be fine. We're now going to go into special tops and go into arcade. Here we can find the invade and persuade enemies tee, which we got from the arcade game. 
If you've skipped ahead and you don't have this t-shirt unlocked, well, it's time for you to go back. Okay, so we're now going to go over to the shoe section and go into the sneakers category. From here we're going to purchase the pink plain high tops. With that done, we're then going to back out of shoes and we're going to open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into inventory and body armour and we're going to select the standard armour. Please do not forget to equip this, for some reason a lot of people do. Now start browsing the top section and we're going to save this outfit in slot 1 and we're going to call this one main. Feel free to call it whatever you want, just make sure it's something memorable. Moving on, it's time to go into the sports jackets category and we're going to purchase the sea green puff jacket which is close to the bottom of the list. With that equipped, we're then going to press back and go into the tank tops category. We're now going to scroll through the list until we get to the white Jolly Roger tank. Please make sure it's this exact one as there are a couple that do look similar. Before we move on, we're then going to back out of the top section and open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go back into inventory and body armour and once again we're going to equip the standard armour. Ok now we're going to close the interaction menu and go back into the top section. Like we did before, we're now going to make sure that we save this outfit but this time we're going to save it in slot 2 and I'm going to call this one tank. So these are the only two female outfits that we need to transfer to make the male outfit. You may notice that we still have a bunch of empty outfit slots. To make this worth your time I recommend that you go and watch some of my other transfer videos so that you can make those outfits as well and transfer them all over at the same time. Of course you don't have to do that, it's just a recommendation. Either way, we now need to initiate a full save, so to do that we're going to need to open up the interaction menu and go into style. Then go down to outfit and equip any of your saved outfits, so because I only have two, I'm going to equip the one called main. Close your interaction menu and the little orange circle should pop up in the bottom right of the screen indicating that the game is saving. If it didn't, just wait a minute and switch outfit again. This is just to ensure that the outfits have actually saved properly. Ok so we're now going to press the start button, go to online and go down to the creator. This is then going to load up the creator menu a few seconds later. Now go to create a race and select tutorial and press ok when this message comes up. we will then be brought to a screen similar to this one. At this point we're going to press the start button if you're on controller or the P key if you're using a PC. We then need to go over to the online tab and select choose character. So just like it did the first time this is then going to load up the character selection screen. However when it does load up do not select a character, instead you're going to go over to the female character in slot 2 and you're going to delete it. Do not delete your main male character, that is very important. Once the female character has been deleted it will then load up the character selection screen once again. Like before, do not select a character, instead you're going to look at the bottom right and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Doing this is then going to take you down into a single player session. When you're able to, you're then going to press the start button, go over to online and go to play GTA online. From here we're then going to press go. Now that we're in an online session, we're going to go over to the outfit section of the store and start browsing our saved outfits. You can now see that the outfits that we made on the female character have transferred over to the male. Before going any further, just make sure that you save your favourite outfit which is the one that you're wearing that you wanted to keep from the beginning of the video. Once that's saved, we're then going to move on, so we're now going to back out of saved outfits and we're going to go into the Diamond Casino Heist category. From here we're going to go into Infiltration Upgraded Tech. From here we're going to purchase any of these outfits which have the pouches on the front. Before we go any further, I recommend that you remove the mask from this outfit, otherwise it will make everything go green when we load up Crooked Cop. To do that, go into your Interaction menu, go into Style and Accessories and you can remove it from there. To move on, we're going to press Start and go to Online. From here we're going to go into Jobs, Play Job, Rockstar Created and go down to Verses to start up the mission called Crooked Cop. As expected, this is then going to load up the mission settings screen. Once it does, all we need to do is go down to Clothing and make sure it's set to Player Owned and then we're going to press Confirm Settings. At this point you're going to need to invite one other person and you can use auto invite like I did to get a random. If you have a friend to join you then that is fine, but alternatively you can go into the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description and you can find someone to help you there. Just be sure to read the rules before posting, but once you have someone and you have launched the job, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen. From here we're going to go down to where it says own outfit and you're going to press right once to equip main and then right again to equip tank. As you can see we now have a merged outfit. If the pouches disappeared then that means that you forgot to put the B and W deco earrings onto the female outfits. Ok so once you are in the mission you're going to open up the interaction menu and go back into style and accessories. From here you're going to press left once on where it says gear to equip an earpiece assuming you have one. With that equipped we're then going to close the interaction menu and instead bring up the phone to quit the job from there. No surprises but this is then going to take you up into the clouds and will load you down into a free mode online session. When you spawn in you'll still be wearing the outfit that we just merged in Crooked Cop. The gloves look a little bit ridiculous as I'm sure you'd agree, so we're now going to go down to the clothing store and we're going to start browsing the accessory section. From here we're going to go into gloves and purchase the black armoured. 
That's all we need to buy from the clothing store, so we're now going to head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. Now we're going to go into the hat section and we're going to go into the combat helmets category. From here we're going to scroll through and buy the black advanced. If you prefer then you can buy the helmet with the quad or dual lens but either way you then just need to make sure that you go and save this in an empty outfit slot. As you can see I called this one outfit. Alright so we're now going to back out of the hat section and instead go into masks. From here we're going to go into the gas category. Of course feel free to use whichever mask you want but I'm going to be using the black respirator for this outfit. As you can see the respirator part pokes through the mask which is connected to the tank. We're now going to back out of there and head over to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. I'm sure most of you know how to do this but we're now going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as we get near it. If you've done it correctly, you'll just stand there without the mask instead of looking into the telescope. Okay now we're going to reopen the interaction menu and go into style and go down to outfit. From here we're going to equip the outfit that we just saved at the mask store which has the helmet. When you walk away from the telescope, the black respirator will then appear under the helmet. Lastly, we're then going to head back down to a clothing store and we're going to make sure that we save this outfit for the last time as we are now done. You're also free to delete the two transfer outfits called main and tank as we don't need them anymore. If it's your preference then you can also open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and set the parachute to on. As you can't really see the parachute straps on the front of this outfit, I decided not to use it this time. But again, if it's something that you want, then feel free to use it. So that is pretty much all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militator Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community. The invite link is in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. That is pretty much all I have to say. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.